This is a story about an animatic for our opening sequence of Evergreen Woods. Evergreen Woods is a production by Ben Raymond, Steph Brecken and Annie Railton. Here we have an establishing shot of the forest location. We use the forest to create a claustrophobic labyrinth feel. There is then a cutaway to a close-up of the killer's face. We use this shot throughout the opening. In the actual opening, this shot will be much shorter because we hope to disorientate and confuse the viewer by showing it multiple times between shots. There is then a tracking shot of the victim running through the forest. This is followed by a cutaway to two different one second shots, then another tracking shot is used. This time it is further away to show how isolated the victim is. Cut away again, then a slow pan from left to right of some credits. Another cut away, then a tracking shot of the victim's feet running through the forest. There is then a long shot of two killers at different depths. Another cut away, then a slow pan from right to left of more credits. Now we have another cut away and then a close up of a footprint in a mud patch. As the victim runs past, she leaves the footprint over the top of the previous one, suggesting that someone has been in the same situation as her. Once again, there is a pan from right to left of more credits. Then there are three consecutive jump cuts, with a cutaway in between. The jump cuts end on two killers holding hands with locker in each of their hands. Then two more cutaways and a pan of the credits, then a tilt tracking shot, with a cutaway in the middle of the victim running. Then we use a graphic match from the victim running to the male killer, then pan left onto the female killer running, then pan left again onto more credits on a tree. Now you see a medium long shot of the victim running with the killers closely behind. Then a close up of more credits followed by a zoom showing the victim running past. Another cutaway is used then a blocking shot of the victim falling over. We then use a point of view shot to show the victim looking up into the tree to reveal the two killers in the branches. Like the beginning an establishing shot is used followed by a loud pacing scream. 